a minute, we're going to talk to Miss Mary about the women's tea that's coming up March 7th, right? That's right. What are we going to do at women's tea? Next week? Okay, at the women's tea, the women's heritage tea is what we call it now. And we always hold it in March. That is because that is Women's History Month. And for the past, this will be our third year, that we are honoring local women who have made a difference in our community. We have a, a slogan for our tea, and it is, she believes she could, so she did, and so she did. That's right, and I think a lot of the women that we have honored are really a testament to that saying. Uh, especially in Lee County, you have to be somebody that was tough, somebody that uh, didn't mind getting their hands dirty whenever it was appropriate, and uh, somebody that would really s stick to their gun, be persistent. Who are we honoring this year? So this year we are honoring Pat Chappelle, uh, Gay Curtin, and Lemma White. Well, what as we said before, we're commemorating the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment to the Constitution, which gave women the right to vote. So uh, we're talking about suffrage, or we're going to have something suffrage-related at the tea? Or? Well, that's what we chose elected officials, women who have been in the past elected officials and have had a long career mm -hmm. uh, in other things and really donate, uh, make wonderful contributions to the community. These women have really done wonderful service in, in the capacity, whatever their office was, they, they have served so well. All of them have that thing in common that they like people. The, the, the personality traits. Yes, exactly. And they really do care about people. They like people, they're outgoing. And uh, it, it's paid off for them in politics and then in life. So if you come to the tea, what we like everybody to do, we encourage you to wear a hat. And that's been our thing for many, many years, even before I got here. Because uh, women need an excuse to wear a hat. That's all there is to it. And if I read the postcard right that we sent out, it says your craziest hat. So it I'm, could be your craziest. I'm thinking of, like, remember the old crazy Easter bonnets women would wear to Easter, you know, like they'd have like almost an Easter basket on top of it. Sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> okay. That's just kind of what I'm thinking of. Some people just decide they're going to wear their most beautiful hat. Um, other people will come up with some some creation that is so imaginative. So, use your crea creativity. Come on out. Show us your stuff. My, other, my last question, is this just for women to come to or are men allowed to come? Of course men are allowed to come, if they promise to behave themselves. See, guys, you got to behave yourselves. <laughs> this is a tea party. That's right. No, we encourage men to come as well. And in the past, mm -hmm. we have had several men that come. They wear hats, too. Uh, none of them has, have really gone out there and been that creative. But you know what? New challenge. That's right. <laughs> so it's going to be this year on March the 7th, which is a Saturday. We're going to do 2 to 4. So it's going to start around two. Mm -hmm. They're going to have some like little ceremonies. Mary's going to give the women a gift. And then at three is when we're having high tea, kind of maybe small little finger foods. Oh, yeah. We've got the whole thing. Pinkies up. Okay. Everybody practice pinkies up. <laughs> and we do set like high tea. We have a menu. Anyway, we'll have brewed tea. We will have all kinds of dainty little finger sandwiches, everything that goes with having a high tea. So, this was Miss Mary. She is our Director of Education, and she's putting on this women's tea. We hope y'all come to women's tea, and if not, maybe y'all can come next year. See y'all later. Bye!